The third level and institutions here have actually published their own set of guidelines for the coming academic term and among the guidelines, face coverings should be worn in the classroom where the two metre social distancing rule can't be achieved but there's no other requirement for um, other types of personal protective equipment. Well Jim Miley is the Director General of the Irish University Association and he joins us here on News Talk Breakfast this morning. Jim, is that a good move? Good morning, Andrea. Well, th- these guidelines have been drawn up by public health experts and they provide a basis for colleges to safely bring staff and students back to campus. Uh, what they do is they enable colleges to plan for more face-to-face teaching than would otherwise be possible with a range of, of mitigation measures. Face coverings is one, but there, you know, there are many other measures as well, rotas for, for classes, staggered classes. Uh, obviously, a whole range of you know sanitising mm. stations, signage, one-way systems, uh, and so on. Uh, so it, it, there are a range of practical measures in there that that provide uh, you know very clear guidance. I think for yeah. uh, universities and colleges I to, suppose, to reopen. I suppose the big headline news today, Jim, from this uh, from this the um, this, these particular guidelines is the fact that they're recommending really two meters in the lecture halls where it's possible. Where it isn't possible, it should be no less than one meter. But in that case, students are going to have to wear the face masks. Yeah, I think so. Well, well, well. I think uh, you know what is what is very clear about it is that two meters is is is, is preferred. Uh, but it's very clear uh, uh, and very explicit that from a public health point of view, uh, one metre distancing is safe, uh, provided uh, appropriate measures are taken. You know, we're, we're getting to a point where, you know, we're, we're having to wear face masks in shops. Um, and I think people are, are beginning to accept that as, as, you know, a somewhat regrettably normal part of mm-hmm. life uh, for the foreseeable future. And I think what we're seeing is a huge demand for students that they want to be back on campus. Uh, and I think that, you know, this is, this is the, the, the compromise, I guess. Uh, you know, universities and colleges are different to primary and secondary. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, students are not in the same classroom all day long. Um, uh, you know, they go to a lecture hall. Uh, they, they perhaps go to a laboratory or a workshop uh, afterwards or a tutorial. Uh, so they are moving around. So it's not as if, if you, you know, you're stuck in the same place with a mask on your yeah. face for, for three or four or five hours. Can I ask you, Jim, about one of the other recommendations that really caught my eye this morning? And I think a lot of students are, are really going to, you know, take heed of this. Um, the recommendation that the students, that they shouldn't visit other buildings other than the one that they're living in. So if you're living in, you know, A accommodation block, you're not allowed to go over to see your buddy in, in, in the B block. How is that going to be policed? Well, I, look, I, I think police is the wrong word on this. Like what, what we're trying to do here is, is change behaviour. Um, we're trying to introduce good practice. What we've seen over the last four or five months in society is people have adapted in all sorts of ways that we would never have imagined possible. What's essential about that is, first of all, being clear about what we expect people to do and then clearly communicating that. And, and you know, I think um, this, is, this is for students, for staff. This is about their own health, the health of their families and friends. Uh, and, and I think what we're seeing in society is the vast majority of people are responsible and will go, go in accordance with the guidelines. So, you know, the, the advice here is, is discouraging um, people from aggregating in, in, in groups uh, that, that may increase risk. Yeah, and, but I suppose and, for a lot of know, students, though, it's their first time away from home. They're making new friends. There's the whole college experience that goes with it. I, I just it really caught my eye this morning because I, I saw it as something that is going to be a difficult guideline to maybe get acceptance of. Well, I think, so. look, I, I mean, I'm, I'm father myself of, 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 of a college-going student, um, so, so I'm fully aware of this. Uh, but look, I think in the main, you know, people tend to default to the position that, oh, you know, young people will misbehave and, and, and won't go along with this. But it, what we're seeing, actually, is quite the contrary. Uh, but I think if, you, if you're clear with people, if you communicate well with them, and if you, you know, if you get people to buy into this mm-hmm. together, then I think uh, the vast majority of people will actually uh, do this. And I think, you know, that's the, 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 that's the compromises we're all having right. to make these days.